What about me? Um, who exactly am I? Chronic diseases are the leading cause of death and disability worldwide, and Alzheimer's disease is one of the top ten chronic diseases that can cause death. Alzheimer's is a type of dementia that affects memory, thinking, and behavior. Symptoms eventually grow severe enough to interfere with daily tasks. According to our research, about 440,000 people worldwide have Alzheimer's or other dementia-related diseases. 56% of Canadians are concerned about being affected by Alzheimer's disease. Even though there are many cases of Alzheimer's worldwide, it is still hard for people to understand the physical and mental sufferings of an Alzheimer's patient. Therefore, we like to help young adults be more aware of the symptoms and sufferings of Alzheimer's, and even understand that Alzheimer's disease can affect young adults with dementia as much as it affects the elderly. Veil Memoir is a cooperative adventure game in which each player will take on a basic physical or mental ability to explore the map that symbolizes the mental world of an Alzheimer's patient named Rachel. In the game, players need to collect supplies and ultimately help Rachel retrieve forgotten memories. The main goal is to find certain items hidden throughout the map, which contain Rachel's memory fragment, to unlock four important forgotten memories. However, during the game, players will encounter various challenges representing Alzheimer's symptoms, such as monsters caused by hallucinations and disorientation caused by memory incoherence. Players need to cooperate with each other to overcome challenges in order to win the game. Both people fun and transformative fun are reflected in this game. For people fun, players must cooperate with each other in order to complete the goal. While for the transformative aspect, we designed meaningful game mechanics in hope that players will have a more comprehensive understanding of the disease and that they will be able to put themselves in the shoes of Alzheimer's patients and experience their struggles, thus creating sympathy and empathy. For example, the upside-down chessboard symbolizes cognitive impairment, and the memory tiles in the map symbolize the forgotten memories. The monsters that need to be defeated by the player symbolize the aggressiveness of Alzheimer's patients towards people around them due to hallucinations, and so on. Through this game experience, we hope to transform players' behavior in real life and encourage them to care more about the elders and other high-risk people with Alzheimer's disease around them. Throughout the game, players explore the map and find all required memory cards to gain 5 memory points by unlocking red tiles on the map. Each memory card records a certain period of Rachel's life. Meanwhile, as Alzheimer's patients suffer from loss of initiative, the mood points on character cards represent the mental health of each player. Players need to keep their mood points at a safe level to survive. Otherwise, if a player has less than 5 mood points, she will be too depressed to move, unless other players play a player card to recover her mood points back to 5 or more. Each player turn consists of two parts. First, do up to 4 actions. Actions can include moving to an adjacent tile, unlocking the memory tile with the required source, and exchanging cards with another player. While players are moving around the map, they may encounter different colors of tiles. If it is a white tile, the player needs to draw an event card. There are different contents on each event card that can cause either good or bad effects on the player, and players must follow the instructions when they draw the card. If it is a green tile, the player needs to draw a hallucination card. Each hallucination card has a side story of the patient having a delusion. The effects of each content will positively or negatively affect the player. Players can also activate monsters through hallucination. When a monster is being activated by a hallucination card, one who draws that card will lose a mood point every turn. Unless they kill the monster, defend or change the monster's target with player cards. If the player moves onto a blue tile, they can get a resource card that has the same letter as on the tile. These resource cards represent memory fragments of Rachel and are necessary to unlock the four memory tiles. 
The second part of a player's turn is drawing a player card. After drawing their player card, their turn ends. If players collect all the required cards and move on to the corresponding red treasure tile to open it, player can get the corresponding memory fragment card. If players collect a disorientation card, all players need to take the effect of it. Players will follow the instruction as marked on the card to rotate their position on the map. Each time a player draws a disorientation card, the player's hand limits will be reduced by one. Players need to keep and discard their hand cards strategically in order to accomplish the game objectives. As the hand limit decreases, players need to consider more carefully. In the initial game design, we found our game was difficult to play because the number of different kinds of game cards was not calculated properly, the game mechanics were unbalanced, and the game goal was difficult to achieve. Based on the playtest on version 1, we changed and increased the number of game cards. And in order to better achieve the transformative game, we also used some stories to explain why the player needs to do this action, or why they receive these kinds of effects. But after the playtest, we found in this version, our game is easy to win. After several rounds of playtest, we identified the imbalance of cards and lack of challenge for players to complete the goal. We found the imbalancing problem was especially prominent in the change of mood points. Therefore, we reduced player cards that can gain players' mood points and actions. The reduced amount of player cards also increased the challenging level of the game and caused players to encounter more significant dilemmas when discarding from hand.